evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to the home of Brendan Kelleher. We are here tonight to discuss the tradition of holy wells in the area. Brendan is chairman of the local St. John's Well, so for the moment I'll hand you over to Brendan to do an introduction. Thank you, Ty. Good evening, Father Cannon and Father and gentlemen. We're very honoured indeed to have with us this evening Canon Brown, who is President of St. John's Well, Father Dickton O'Connor, who is Vice President of the Well, Mr. James Buckley and John Kelher, who are also members of the Committee of the Well. We've also got to see Sean Radley, who has done a lot of work in filming this well and taking photographs and so on. So, without further ado, I think I'll hand you over again to Ty, who will ask Canon Brown a few questions on the way. Canon Brown, as President, and uh, a great honour indeed, could you give us um, the tradition of Holy Wells and the Holy Well of St. John? <coughs> well, I don't think anybody really knows why our pre-Christian people had religious rites <coughs> and uh, wells, water. But uh, they definitely did. And also remarkable, especially here in the New Hollow area, the stone circles. There no parallel lines because undoubtedly it is true that uh, while the well rites were purely religious, the circles served many purposes. The circles, the best opinion is that they were primitive calendars telling them the they had the moon which told them the month, they had no week, but uh, they wanted the time for the breeding of cattle and sowing of crops and so on, and they were able to do it with the stone circles. But they also buried their dead, and the, that is true by excavation, and uh, in the stone a connection with it, outside the circles. and. Uh, their form religious rites. Uh, I had long interesting talks with the I seem to be wandering from the wells, but uh, I have to come back again and tell you why. The uh, long interesting talks with the men uh, who look after Stonehenge in Hampshire. Uh, Stonehenge means hanging stones. But you had the large, huge things, 25 tons, some of those blocks are standing up and cross stones and across the top. Uh, that they served all those three purposes and they found during the war, the man I was speaking to particularly was an RAF man, that they were flying flights all over Europe and down across the Mediterranean, the Sahara. North Africa, they were able to see the circles when you were high up, down under the sand. They found them in various places, they never thought they'd find them in uh, South of France, North Africa, and so on. Now, leaving that subject and coming to Wales, uh, the Rites, of course, were pagan worship of various kinds, and uh, in the tradition of good mission work, which I myself was engaged in at time, we never disturbed the native people who uh, were not Christians in the law, in the practice of their right religion as far as possible. We never hunted them away from their sacred sites. The purpose was to Christianize them. And that is what the early missionaries did in Ireland, of course. They Christianized the 
with the rights, religious rights associated with the Holy Will, and if they were also associated with the circles, uh, they did that too. A curious thing, we never had any modern, semi-modern um, religious services in connection with the circles, but it has become very strong in the wells. And uh, if you will notice, if you have also to make a research, you see the dates are confusing because there was one time we had to skip 11 days in our history, a couple of hundred years ago, and you're often good to go. If you find the date now, the 1st of June, you probably have to go back into May. That day, or even I think the last two or three more is another time because they were calculating, calculating it wrong. Now, that is why you have to be making research, but undoubtedly, regard to St. John as well, it was a festival of light marking the solstice. Uh, this, the longest day of the year. Sunday night, when, as I said, the sun appears to stand and turn back. The days begin to get short again. You see, that, and uh, the the same way Christmas was the winter solstice, and that was an old pagan right, festival of light also. But Saint John. Well, he dedicated them to, I take it, because our Lord praised him that he was a burning and a shining light, you see? Mm. And um, he was the light going before himself, you see? And oh, he said, uh, among those that are born women, a greater has not risen than John the Baptist. The highest praise he could give him. But he was, um, <coughs> therefore, he marks the summer solstice. And it is not, of course, to John the Evangelist, but John the Baptist to dedicate it. Uh, just to, to continue there, um, Jimmy, <coughs> you're, you live close to St. John's well. Mm. You must have a great history of the well also and the areas around it. Can you tell us something about <coughs> this? Well, I suppose I can tell you a little more we want to anyway, but um, that should go back, I suppose, 60 years. That's a fair okay. bit. It's a good long time. Okay. <coughs> uh, my earliest memories would be, I suppose, my school days. You see, the afternoon school or something we look forward to and being taken to the well. And of course, after the round, it was a great treat to be carried back to the pattern. And, uh, getting the sweets and cakes and all that, of course, was, that was a wonderful job for children then. As is, of course, today it always was, but uh, more so that time. Uh, then, of course, later on, we were able to go there ourselves when we stopped the school and maybe got a bike and so on. <laughs> <laughs> we'd go there ourselves and I remember well being told every time we'd be going up with my father and mother, don't pass back without paying the round. They knew I was in a hurry to go to something <laughs> else, you know, for <laughs> uh, the enjoyment for the dance would be and so on. Is there something, Jimmy, <coughs> where are there a number of wells combined in the one in mm, St. John? Can you tell yeah, me Yeah, there are three wells that are all together. There's the one that we know so well in the old course. Um, that would be uh, the one that the stations are on. Yeah. Then you have another on the talker side, we'll say the Island Road. And another on top of the mountain. And it is widely claimed that the one on top of the mountain is the right well. Well, Balnegri people on that side out wouldn't listen at all to uh, the well that we 
because this was our well. <laughs> but this well that we're so interested in now is was was called Tobernavarhia, which is of course the well of the warts. And it was well known of course as a cure for warts. I think nearly everybody you hear speaking and they got their warts removed there, paying your own and washing their hands in the water and that was it, they were gone, they didn't do anything more about them. I can name so many that did get rid of them. I didn't have to myself because I hadn't any work to young think, but uh, thank God. I knew, <laughs> thank God, yes, but so many I did hear saying they got rid of them. But uh, that is supposed, that's will, the one on the top of the mountain is supposed to be the right well, as they say it. Well, I did hear that there was cures there long ago, I don't know how long ago, but I heard all the people saying there was crutches left there. That would be a good sign. Which one was that in That be the one on top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. And where is the one on the bottom situated? You have the one on top and you have the, the main well. Right. And where is the, the other one? one is on the, is on the Railan Road, okay. above the Kerryman's Table. Yeah. Yeah. Between that and the top of Thorker. It's on the main road from, from Mill Street to, to Kirkwood. That's right. Yeah. 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 But Jim, sorry, the tradition that you knew as a child, that had been going on for some time before that. Well, I suppose an awful long time. I heard my father and mother saying, my father was 84, a lot of mercy when he died. And uh, when he was a child, he was like me, he was carried there. <coughs> but that before him. Mm -hmm. So we don't know how far back the tradition goes. Mm -hmm. But uh, all the older people were said to us, here there's not yet St. John's now. That was, you know, the pattern job. You know. uh, we thought it was a great thing, we should have the dance and so on, but here they said that was no good. They had the porter there. That's why <laughs> that <laughs> 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 They tell you that there was two tents anywhere there, in their time. One of them from Mill Street, I think, uh, and you shan't go, that should be uh, Andrew Hickey's Andrew Hickey's Hickey's grandfather. grandfather. Mm -hmm. He was shot one, and the other, I think, was coming from Bell Degree. And uh, that would be both playing, I think, there. And, of course, I never ended up with those who fight. You remember about St. Joseph? Uh, there was St. Joseph, Joseph yeah. there. That's right. I saw that old man there, he came from around the Barnmore side. A mile in, I think, from, about a mile in, from Carpian Barn Class, as we call it. He lived there in the cottage. And he never failed to come up there well, he was able, right, yeah. and he was an old man with a long whisky, a white whisky down to that. And he'd, to that, he'd been the dear scene for him. Yeah. And Tidden Mull, he wanted to yeah. make amusement for the crowd. I enjoyed it. He used to tie the balloons on him, too. I remember him tying the balloons on him. You remember him? Oh, I do, yeah. 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 And he'd sit down and the balloons had burst. And the he was a great character. Yeah, he was a character. Nice old man. He was, he was the making of the, of the pattern in the Well, he the was a good part of it. Yeah, there yeah. was another man who <coughs> came there and sing songs also, but he was more out for money, it said, than, uh, than St. Joseph. Jo St. Joseph's name was Lucy, I think. But the other man, was, his name was Bill D. from Belgian Agree. And he was singing also. But, uh, there was someone there also, Jim, that used to give containers of water. Or oh, is that the well? That's right. Well, uh, there were two women there actually, two sisters, Judy Punk and Hen. <laughs> 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 Mikey Punk sisters. Mm -hmm. There were the two women. But they Mike sisters. They were Mikey sisters, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Punk and Hen. Yeah. It was. Right. Morphe is there, Morphe, 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 Morphe would be their name. Mm -hmm. Like Morphe. But that wouldn't be known by Morphe, if we would say this. Yeah. Uh, they'd be at there in the morning, they'd pass up very early. So they'd be sure they'd be there before anybody else anyway. And uh, they'd stay there good and late. And they'd have saucepans, of course, and they'd be nearly sitting inside in the world. There wouldn't be that much room to go between them, mm -hmm. only inside. Well, you wouldn't go in anywhere that had the saucepan taken out and give it to you 
And if she gave me a penny, of course, for giving me the water, that was the idea. Yeah. And I, indeed it happened that there was people who talked the water times and didn't give it to them, they'd be very sore then. Eh? <laughs> 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 I was as hard to blame them. <laughs> uh, they'd have to sit there all day long for the for whatever few pennies they'd collect. Okay. Mm-hmm. There were, yeah. I think it's interesting that the point there, the canon spoke earlier about um, why wells were Christianized. But in the Bible, if we go back to it, the well is always a meeting place. Long ago, when you consider that there was no running water in our homes, and when people would come to a meeting place like a well, I think of that now especially where I'm from in, in North Kerry, in Dewa. Um, we have a, a well on our farm called Tubbermurra, and it was a meeting place where people would come um, daily, and it was quite near the church, and people would come there first of all as a meeting place, you know, and a chat. And for some reason, um, cures began to be attributed to the place. And um, people would come and they'd pray there because everything long ago was, they'd come and they'd meet, they'd have <coughs> everything was a salutation, like even say, there was, you know, their faith was running so much more into everything. Say, a salutation would be like, this not a good, you know, and Tamumab Vakis Ledea. You know, everything was, you know, that God was so much, everything, everything in their life. And in the one at home, it's it's uh, very near where there was a ford in 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 in, in Iblasha, that's called the Black Ford to all. and that's why they said you know the meeting place of people coming together to meet at a well, and it became it, it began from pagan yeah, custom yeah. and it became Christianized, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. they attributed a cure then yeah. to it. Yeah. Was that in John's well? You said, w- w- John's well now is in a beautiful place. It's the side of a mountain. There's very few homes around there. Yeah. And why do people go so far away? Well, yeah. that is a question, and I suppose the only way to answer it all through the further, that is be something like what Canon Brown, I suppose, was saying. Yeah. Coming from the pagan times, right. yeah. people didn't collect the right there for a chat, I wouldn't think. No, but the like prevalence, the uh, prevalence of the stone site we would indicate there was a big population there in the early times, because the they wouldn't make to build the stone circles there unless there were a good population there. You must imagine that while it is bog land now, that bog came long after the stone circles were built. It was woods and grazing land for cattle and woods giving shelter to wild animals in those times. And uh, undoubtedly you had a big population. Mm along the slopes of Mushra, and Mushra Begda and all those places. N- nowadays I think what's important is, you know, they just become a prayer centre. And right. especially since 1982, since John here has put in so much work into the Stations of the Cross. Mm-hmm. And to see people coming there mm-hmm. daily, right throughout the whole summer, mm-hmm. and they coming to pray. Mm-hmm. And the fact, you know, there's an awful lot of, of, uh, of interest at the moment in the whole of the moving statues. And whether they're moving or not is, is, is irrelevant <laughs> from our point of view. But, but the fact that people are coming to pray and just bringing people closer to each other and seeing even the other wells is here in the parish, like this Tubbard well, and um, there's a dozen of met wells around. Yeah, there's a lot of well, there's one well more, the city. Right, and there's one there. And another one there. It's now now on well. Mm-hmm. And from Tariff. From Tariff. Where yeah. there isn't a, a kind of a centre of prayer, you know, where there's a church nearby people gather together and the tradition is set up yeah. and this exactly. is, I think this is, this is, this is great. Yes. And the way people will drive from miles and miles, you know, to go to places like St. John's Well, to pray the stations in the beauty of the surrounding countryside. There's something very special about it. That's yeah. strong, mm-hmm. you know. I think the panoramic view, the beauty of the panoramic view alone mm-hmm. shows creation, I think, perhaps mm-hmm. more than anything right. else. Yeah. And especially the way they, these stations have been out since, you know, Absolutely. people like John here and other right. people, you know, they built them in to fit in with the countryside. Yes. Yes. And the whole thing is, yeah. is peaceful. Yeah, the blending Perfect. of the trees, the general overall setting is, is, is blended. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. If we might just <coughs> come to that for a moment, John, a great tradesman, of course. Um, mm-hmm. Father O'Connor has just started it there. Could you tell us about the actual building of the Stations of the Cross and the making and how long did it take? It must have been a, a big task. Well, uh, it was a, 
I really knew big, a big task I'd like to take on, uh, definitely, but uh, the way I looked at it was that only I think we must think here tonight only for the late Sunday Bhakti Latimer I think only for him the mm -hmm. stations of the cross mm -hmm. wouldn't be erected at the St. John's Way. Would you tell us a little more what about that? Uh, tell you what, how it happened to come along at all was Jimmy Bhakti and himself were great friends and uh, Sonny hadn't been the best of health for a long time. So uh, Sonny's idea was if we could get the stations of the cross erected at St. John's Well. That was his full intention to do. So, yeah. so uh, we called it, happened to call a meeting at uh, our band community centre about it, go to uh, where we go about it. So uh, we were <coughs> we brought up a committee, set up a committee, so I happened to be made chairman of it at that particular time. And uh, we, uh, Jimmy was telling us that Sonny Buckley had £500 left in his will to donate the, to direct the stations at, mm -hmm. at St. John's Will. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it was all, we had no other choice, I need to erect him there, and I was, I, need, I was only too delighted to be able to help to, to, yeah. to put him there. How long but did that take, John? We, um, well, actually, we, I think when we started, we had to landscape it first of all, you know, and uh, th that took a while, but we got, what I could say is that we got fantastic help from the forestry department. Mr. Darcy gave us wonderful help and his, and his workers. Mm. Also the Cork County Council, and uh, they put in a fair work in there as well. And uh, we got uh, Vincent Sullivan, planter that uh, Vincent Sullivan was there, to see he gave us the machinery, to his machine to landscape it. <coughs> and also we got trunking from uh, John Buckley of Black Daughter, he supplied the trunking to us. Yeah. Which I think was a great help as well. Yeah. And, and uh, people like John Anthony yeah. Dinahy, the late John Anthony. John Anthony Dinahy, yeah. 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 he delivered yeah. yeah. a pile of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So did uh, we, people donated a pile of stuff into it. From mm -hmm. Neil Roach gave us, Roach gave yeah. us uh, yeah. gravel, yeah. Uh, a lot of gravel. Yeah. And uh, we had cats and more supplied us with, with, with chips and, uh, and stuff like that. And so did Barry Gibbon. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. 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 And how long did the whole the whole okay. thing take, uh, well, uh, to get it, the other biggest part was to get it kind of in a, like, as the Canon Brown have mentioned here already about this, the circle, the stone circle, to get into a circle was, was, the, was the biggest problem, like, uh, oh, to yeah. know how, what, what distance we should go uh, yeah. to get the, the full circle in for the 14 stations. I think that was the biggest, to, I mean, to get them spaced out, like, yeah. in the proper way, like. Yeah. But uh, after that, it didn't take that awful long. The, I think the first station I, I built there was down here in the very end as you, as you, as you got to the well on your right. I started there I think in the, 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 the month of December. My goodness. To, to nearly snowing the same day. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, even I started that one. But it, it went down then. It, well, I think it took till about, it took almost six months after to complete. Like, but, uh, I got great help there. I must say, Brendan here, oh, fantastic. He, he did a fantastic job with me as well. Uh, he supplied his men. He, he got a good few Saturdays with was his full staff there. And I think mm -hmm. uh, praise has got him as well. Like, but mm -hmm. as I say, uh, there was a lot of work in it, definitely, and we had got everybody the time. Everybody helped, yeah, everybody yeah. helped, yeah. Right. But there was a lot of work in it, right, definitely. But it was, it was, it was yeah. well worked it, like, you know. Yeah. You know? Well, if you look at the shape of the actual stations, they're unique, really. It's the beehive, the yeah. traditional yeah. beehive shape. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Well, uh, it was, I, it was my, well, it was I thought, kind of, I don't know, was it my own way? But I thought, yeah. my intention, like, if I could get them into that. Shape, yeah. yeah, that shape, like you know, that I might look nice there, like. Yeah. And then yeah. we made a little uh, concrete beam for to you know, the little frame for to put into right, the, yeah. the, the 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 plaque back into it, the little tablet itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, the biggest occasion there, of course, now is the is the uh, mass, the annual mass, and the feast of John the Baptist in June of every year, and that mass is, it's perhaps one of the biggest in the area around every year, and we've even had bad weather conditions and people still turn out. Mm -hmm. there. It's, it's, it's an atmosphere all of its own and people from all over the county, mm -hmm. in, in down from Limerick, come to St. John's Well to that Mass. Right. It is advertised um, yeah, pretty well around the area and people just turn up and it is it, uh, an atmosphere all of its own and same people turn up every year to help out mm -hmm. and it's, it's a must now every year. Mm -hmm. People, it's one of the annual outings of many, many old people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, that they want to come to that Mass. Mm -hmm. And it's as a nature of all its own. Mm -hmm. One of our big occasions was the blessing, of course, of the stations in 1982, which Canon Brown blessed at the time, and he was assisted by our present Bishop of Kerry. That's uh, right. Dear with us. Nine, 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 n
to get a, a special blessing on, on the station? Yes, uh, it came very soon Well, they were trying to regularize the ritual uh, about blessing of various things. They changed parts of the Mass and changed this and the administration of the sacraments and the formula for blessings. But when I uh, applied to the bishop for the former for blessing the station of Cross, he said, you haven't any. <laughs> and uh, that, uh, I don't know that they reached that stage yet. So we communicated with the liturgy center. I think that's in uh, Carlo. Carlo. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had to apply to the congregation of Rome for it. And uh, we were the first to use it. And it uh, was begun as a young part, but was very many more on different parts of our relations to me. I had to duplicate and triplicate this form of a blessing, which was quite elaborate, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, send it off to them. But we were the first to use that Vatican II formula of blessing station of the cross. It is a very solemn occasion, the station of the cross in the church always, and to have them out, out of doors as well. That's about the stations anyway. Yes, Father O'Connor, coming back to yourself for a moment, <coughs> could you tell us about your role as Vice Chairman of the St. John Well Committee? Well, I'm not uh, one of the working members of the committee. Yes. I, I am and the vice president, yes. but I I am here with excellent members of a committee. I mean, the way they work, the, the way they support each other is just exemplary, really. These men and women, indeed, in the committee, they're there always ready to call them and for a mass every year. They have everything organised to the tea, including you know, the choir that comes up from Mill Street, yes. which was directed by Sister Agatha, mm -hmm. um, who is still in, in Mill Street yeah. and has just retired. Yeah. Um, the way I, I really am there in a very much of a supportive role in organising the Mass and also in many of their meetings they call me in um, and I feel very privileged to be associated with these with this well. I think it's great to see people coming praying and I, 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 I have a really special place in my heart now for St. John's Well. Um, Especially with the with the the scenery around it, the nature, and I feel I feel very honoured. And working with the people, a lot of them actually the same people are associated with the Urban Social Club. People like John here, we have Jody Buckley, we've got I don't know Reardon. How many more, John? Oh, quite a few. Mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, Bridget uh, Deneen, uh, Bridget Deneen, uh, and then yeah. um, John Sheehan. John Sheehan. Oh, there's so many more. Yeah, there's tremen a, a tremendous core group there of workers yeah. and all of uh, Jimmy's family here, yeah. the whole lot of the lads, and, yeah. and they all come together. And the other thing that's associated with it is, is we tended to have a bit of a dance on the night of the, the Mass. Right. And also secondary to that as well is the, you know, there's a, a grotto set up also in, in Oban, um, near Noreen Kelleher shop there, which is also the, the same committee um, runs as in charge of. Yeah. So it, it, they're tremendous people really. I'm very happy to be with them. That's great. That's great. Sean, great support as always. Can you tell us what is your role with, with the St. John Committee? Well, uh, Ty, my role as such has been one of uh, helping to record the events of St. John's Well and with a particular interest in photography and in Mill Street Museum Society. Uh, we have attempted to try to chronicle the history of the well in a visual way. So through slides and prints and cine film, we have tried to keep a record of the progress of the actual development of the well. And uh, it's truly amazing when you just look back 10 years and just see visually how the well has de developed in such a magnificent way uh, because if we look back as we will in this program we can see that the actual shape of the actual grotto itself has changed vastly from the time um, that Jimmy's 
her late father, Michael Buckley, placed an actual um, picture of St. John That's right, yeah. on the on the actual heap of stones that was there, Jim, isn't that so? Well, it was on the heap of stones, of course. It was made much in the shape of what, uh, what there's lots of what, um, right, yeah. stations are now. Yeah. I'd say it would be bigger than them, it was just a heap of stones all right over the well. And it was a, a thought from an old man to bring a picture of St. John and hang it there because it wasn't going to stay long on the side of Musher anyway. But uh, he felt ju just like doing it. And it's only about he came in there again, Lord to mercy on him, because he was one of those who sat there and when he got he said, that isn't going to stay along there anyway. And he called to our house and he said to my father, and he wouldn't let that picture above there, he said. I was after St. John's Day being gone, he thought he might bring it on. Oh yeah, he said. Mm -hmm. And he said, for that one stay there, he said, and he didn't the team. So, <coughs> so he said, we'll have to do something about it. And he made a little altar for it, shape of a grass or a full light. And triangle box, and he put a glass in it, and he put it at the back. And uh, there was a statue put in front of it, and I think it was... Uh, I think it's that showed the infant Jesus of prayer, I'm sure. But uh, that was the first. Uh, then, of course, I was put there. They had to do, they weren't going to put that on the ground either. They had to build the first grass wall. The centre part of us there now, that had to be built for to hold yes. that box. Mm -hmm. right. 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 Mm -hmm. The centre part was built for that. Mm -hmm. That was. Mm, 1954, I think. Oh. Yes, and as time went on, then it was added. Mm, yes, was in 1958 the statue was brought, and the two side altars were made. Then one of them had that was put in the centre, mm. and this box was taken out, of course, and there had to be a place formed on the side for that. Mm. We turned it looked right without having one on the other side. We said we'll have called one horn. There was another grass I put on the other side, right. and uh, was, that's where the infant uh, prayer was put in. Right. And there was one on each side then, and the statue of St. John in the center. Right. That's how it is today. Absolutely. Well, you yeah. know, as you were saying, like, what does what has one gained from being associated with the St. John's well? group, well to be honest, I think it's a tremendously enriching experience to have, you know, seen the development of a well like St. John's well, because for example now the, if you look at the overall setting and take the trees, the way they have grown up around and blended in <coughs> the actual uh, area itself, then you have, as, as uh, Father Connor was saying here, the actual um, stations have added so much to the whole uh, area. And I think also it's very enriching to have known people like the late Michael Sonny Buckley because I think, uh, like the present committee, there's, there was a tremendous feeling shown by such people. I remember Sonny had a, 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 a specially composed poem that he had written himself uh, about St. John's Well, and by just listening to that, you would truly get the feelings of people who were so absolutely you know, engrossed in, in the actual uh, faith behind the St. John's Well tradition. Um, also, I think the fact that we have recorded uh, the first Mass, Canon Brown said the first Mass, uh, about what year uh, Canon would it have been? I think you were about, was it 70? 74, Canon would have been. Was it 70 later than that? I came in January seventy one, and uh, I didn't. I thought it didn't go so far as that. I know you're wrong, but I have some feeling. Yeah, I got it on list. Ah, that's right. And fifty uh, yes. But I, I said the first mass then some a few years afterwards. But the, the interesting thing is that the what they claim to be the original well, the south side of the mountain would be in Klein And uh, there is 
uh, a belief that uh, what Jan uh, Buckley said Colbert, the big faction fight, and the Bishop of Klein discouraged all devotion there. And that possibly, I can be sure of that, moved the focus of center to our side of the hill, you see? Because uh, the, the power string intervened then, you see. Mm -hmm. And it uh, made it more difficult to go south. But uh, I find here we are indebted to a Mrs. A Mrs. Uh, Margaret O'Donovan, who wrote this letter to me, and was, was born on the slopes of Mushara. She's now 73 years of age. She told me that she knows all about the well from her earliest youth, she says. In my childhood days, crowds of people, young and old, climbed the mountain to pray at the original well on the south side. Firstly, a rosary was recited around the well. Then, the pilgrim walked from there. I find this very interesting. He walked from there, again reciting the rosary, to a higher summit where a stone circle was. And there again another rosary was said, which ended the rounds. At that time, sixty odd years ago, the older people came to the well the Sunday before the 24th of June and returned on St. John Day to complete the round, so they said. Where the shrine is erected in Mushra, that very spot was known by people far and near as the Wart Well. They came with hands covered with water, bathed them in the water, praying for a cure. It is interesting that the stone circle, that's the first mention I ever got of Christians praying the stone circles. Did any of you hear it before? No, no, no. it didn't tell you. Uh, no. No. Mm. no. Yeah. But even the time mass was being said uh, on the annual, annual occasions, there, there was never a time when the weather was so bad that it had to be cancelled. Not so, <laughs> There was fog there on maybe one occasion. Two years ago. Two, two, two years. years. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we just maybe it? Uh, <laughs> 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 right. But generally, um, the view on the evening of the Holy Mass being celebrated there, it's absolutely splendid. You know, the sun just going down and uh, there's a very warm feeling uh, cast on the mountainside and usually a blue sky in the background so it's it's really you know it's a it part of heaven really mm -hmm. you know just just to move on here Brendan <coughs> as chairman of the committee what are the headaches what is involved what is your history of the world well I'm only chairman for the past three or four months it was I took over from a man that did an awful lot of work here on my right, John Kelleher. Mm. So, I need to tell you, I have a lot in my hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. I must say, um, one of the biggest occasions we had, it was, was this year, when we had um, the group from the Faith and Light uh, visited St. John's Well. Mm. Yeah. We were very lucky. It was fine morning and there were five coaches of people arrived at the well. I think it was never seen before there. Mm. So two thirds of those were handicapped. Two thirds of them were handicapped fathers, right, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. There were two hundred and fifty or the other. There was around two hundred and fifty yeah. there, I think. Mm -hmm. So that um they went up and they did the stations and they were really charmed with the place and delighted. So I think that was one of the biggest occasions we had since I became chairman in England. Like, and you know. it was a very nice sudden way. Yeah, 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 it was very nice. And the dramatization yeah. of the station for the cross. Yes, yeah, right. Amazing. Right. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, that was, was very yeah, beautiful. They did, uh, they did the station mm -hmm. themselves and uh, it was very nice. Like, yeah. you know, we were looking for the morning. But I think also under Brendan's guidance, <coughs> the, the well that morning was in, in absolutely perfect condition. Thank you. So there was a special banner to welcome people to St. John's Well. Right. 
and uh, well, the weather was yeah, perfect. The weather was, I thought we, we must thank uh, Tommy Burke and uh, his staff of Clara Tate for presenting for that banner like he did for the great trip to the moon. Very, very well done. You look very well. One nice thing I was, uh, was I mentioned it, Brendan, if you were back, like, I think it was my wish if I could get something like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Some kind of banner. The welcome was in Anna, which uh, they felt like coming to the Shan. I think Father Lucy, the chaplain, or, uh, that was in charge of him, said to me that welcome means a fight to the... the no, yeah, that, that yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay. that rang a bell to me. I was saying if we could get just a sign across, you know, with welcome to St. John's Well, I think to, to, to really... Yeah. But she did really put lovely face to it. Like yeah. 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 I think, too, the, the, the atmosphere was caught tremendously by our cameraman here. Danjo himself. Mm-hmm. Like, if you just remember the the singing alone, just to hear that mm-hmm. that morning, it was, um, it was really beautiful. It was quite something. Really. It was sure yeah. enough, yeah. As I say, coming back to Danjo, I think only for Danjo we wouldn't be in the highlights at all. No, no, it just no, no, no. to be a con- coincidence that I met Danjo outside mm-hmm. shortly before that, about five, maybe about three weeks mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. that, outside the Millfield Sports of a centre. Brenda happened to be there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just happened to. Yeah, how do you make that? I didn't know. I didn't know. Then <laughs> Joe, I, I only had a good all about him. I had all about him. I right, definitely like. But I didn't. I hadn't met him personally. But uh, I just happened to mention to Danjo that the Fed Knight were coming to the Shah and to know that I like that they were coming to. I knew they were coming to Saint John's Well at that particular time, and to know would he cover it at Saint John's Well. Mm-hmm. We'd like to have it on, you know, mm-hmm. on video. So Danjo said to me, he said, if I do it all, he said, I'll do it from start to finish. Mm-hmm. So I think for only for him. To show the truth, that's my. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to thank you very much for, for doing so. To for go really back really again into history, or to go back deep into history, Jimmy, if I could turn to the again for a moment, we're back to the actual tree wells up in Mushra. Now, <coughs> there, the Saint John's well, which is the main well, has a cure for warts. That's right. The other yes. wells, are they noted for any cures? Are there any strange things that have happened? Well, I didn't ever hear of any cures, but as I have said before, I did hear there were crutches left at the one in top, mm-hmm. and that there must have been a cure there. Well, yes, I have there was cures, but I didn't hear that there were for any particular purpose. Mm-hmm. But the fact there was crutches left that looked like that, like that somebody got his foot in. <coughs> if I could come back to you in for a moment. I have heard that there's something about making the sign of the cross three times at St. John's Well. Do you know of this? Have you had this? Well, I, I've seen them do it and I've seen the mark on the stone there. I see them, they kneel down and they sip the water with the mug and then they lift the little pebble or something and make three crosses. But uh, that, that takes place at an awful lot of Holy well. Mm-hmm. It takes place in Tumbled as well. And uh, in many other holy wells you'll see that tradition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't know why it marks the trim here as well. Mm-hmm. 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 John, what are the future plans for St. John's Well? What are, th- are there any more jobs to be done there? Well, well there is a lot of a lot of room for improvement yet at the moment. But, uh, uh, such as uh, the Azimans Gate definitely won't be erected there very badly for there's a lot of cattle roaming around, and uh, they they really want to be kept off with in case anything they do any harm to the stations of the cross, like mm-hmm. the tablets, like if they were rubbing off them or anything like that. And the grounds is there out now, green as you are, you know what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think to be shame without keeping that in the shape they're in, like you know. Mm-hmm. But that's that's what we have in mind at the moment. That the uh, Azimuth Gate will be active. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, another person suggested that we should raise some time maybe erect toilets there. No, for it's a really a picnic area, really like in the summertime, people come Yes, I was going to ask you yeah. about that, because people do come from far and near, oh, they don't yeah. they? Uh, do you could just yeah. meet them from any place there, like, mm-hmm. from uh, plenty of people, people, in fact, comes out there from Cork City, we meet them there, and uh, brings out their kids there, and Sunday, it is a, it is a fantastic place to bring kids on Sunday, for they can roam away, and you don't have to, do, you don't have to be worried about them. Mm-hmm. And there's lovely picnic tables there, and everything is set on there for them, so that's, it's a real, it's a real place to, you know, it's a beautiful setting to bring them there. So mm-hmm. that's what we have in mind in the for the coming year. You could possibly develop the whole shrine a little bit more to even put a canopy over it, because every year mm-hmm. there's um, a makeshift <coughs> canopy put over for the annual mass. And this year there it was waterlogged, and in the middle of our mass, canon, as you may remember, just pouring down on top of us <laughs> in the middle of the mass. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it would 
yeah. it would be uh, it would be something that has to be thought of in the future. It would be worth calculating how much it would cost. You yes, say. I was just going to say, where would the revenue, where would the money come from? Well, they got more revenue down. You don't figure it out, Tyler. Leave them and they'll tell you what the money is. Well, that's the rest of that. We're not too badly offered present for money, but I don't know, would we have enough? If you went into doing something like that, I don't know how far would it go. That's something like five or six hundred pounds. I'd say we might have six hundred. And the funds are present, and that isn't bad. Well, yes, and I think we 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 support the uh, good future no, as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's mm -hmm. important to yeah. think that they supported Ethiopia, and they have done a good number. Uh, uh, Paddy O'Brien, there we send him a hundred pounds. Yeah, you know, to share that and cut Paddy O'Brien, that social worker. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Could I bring a gentleman's name to mind, whom I believe has a lot of work put into Saint John's Well, Condi Kelleher. And he, yes, and he was one of the founder members, there is no doubt about that. And he had great interest and great faith in it. Always had it, and it was a pity how he left his soil there. Yes. Can I use the He died at about 65, I suppose. Yeah, he did. Died by what I would call misadventure, isn't that so? Ah, well, I suppose, yes. Following an operation, yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think going back to the one of the future plans, Father Well, I think the publication of the booklet would be one of the main priorities at present also. At present, yes. I would like to see some little booklet I read, Sean. And Many I people come there and they ask for some history about it, like you want to get the brochure, like? Yes, as a how did this doctor, they want to know about cures and they want to know many things about it. But a little booklet, I think it would be a great way of explaining it. Yeah. And I think even through our program here we might be able to even appeal for any extra information or photographs relevant to this booklet. I think photographs and information like this would be of tremendous help. That's funny, like about it, you go back about the photographs, you, you see the photograph from my brother from the States, if you would, okay. uh, to the one you would mention, which you may see, I've never seen that one before, to the one with the, with the the, the, single one. One. the single one where you were. And it was shown. You shot that one? Yes. I never see that one. <laughs> yes. I never see that one. That's why we had it. Yeah, yeah. Another yeah. very interesting one that has come up is when Canon Costello, uh, the late Canon Costello, was actually blessing the it's well. Correct, yeah. Uh, this also, I thought, very interesting yes. that we were able to acquire yeah. that particular photograph. But we believe that there could be many other photographs. And Shani, in that, uh, the day of that blessing, uh, if you remember in the photograph, it was up to the mountain. He had to come. There was no order. There was nothing at the time. Right, yeah. Only uh, the grotto with the statue in the center is where we were talking about. Right. Well, the crowd along Canacasla, which I must come up through the mountain just a path. Mm -hmm. There was no road where that that time. No. That was 58. Right. And that simple ceremony established that it was in Kerry's because it was not at all clear. Mm -hmm. The original one, the other side of the hill was definitely employing, you see. Mm -hmm. yes. and, uh, and no one raised an objection when the yeah. Kerry priest blessed it uh, the other well, you see. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, it's important to, 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 to note also that all the priests from the whole area attend our annual mass again, and the priests from all the parishes of the parish of John would be even from and very welcome from Tarab and Bantir down another we've got a big one area and I come back to the the night that I was blessed I think it was beautiful to have we had two newly ordained priests at that that particular night there was a father Anthony Cochran here from his street and there was a father Heffernan from down near Claroa Martin Heffron. Mm -hmm. So uh, that it, it really blended in together lovely that, that, that mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. but, but I think there's one other point that when people come to St. John's Well, there are two uh, other very interesting places that are very near St. John's Well. There's the Nochnachillis Stone Circle and Carryman's Table. Mm -hmm. I think uh, they have a fascinating history <coughs> behind them. Is yeah. there any connection between that Stone Circle and St. John's Well? well I don't think so. I've never heard anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, uh, th this lady mentioned that last day first 
connection between a well and a stone circle she mentioned but that's the very that's way on the south side of the island of the mm -hmm. mountain mm -hmm. but i think the there is an interesting story behind uh the carryman's table i think sure, sure. john here might be able to spread it was no no intention there's people going from from Kerry to Cork and Dyes, but the straight, yeah. Well, yeah. Would be able to fit in his brother Jimmy than I would, maybe probably. Oh uh, well, you have it all too, John. I think you know what all reading. I used to see my father at Emerson saying I used to rest there for to have the bit, a bit of rub there on the way to pass like. But yeah, I think that I think yeah. we really have to. That's the thing we have in mind as well to kind of get that shaped in, you know, to the people yeah. to, 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 to you know, to show up more like. That would take him the great train going to Horstrand. Wagons bring the carry bucket. Yeah. 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 That was it. Oh, no. Well, they say. Yeah. If we could oh. landscape it in a bit, it'd be better. Like you know, people, you know, get a sign. We're looking for a sign to get it erected near it. Like you know, that people, you know, need to. You will pass it up and down. Pass it up and down. Like yeah. 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 But we've uh, been onto the car from the concert. I've got a sign for it. I would have like so. I'd say we we'll probably get in the near future. Yeah. All I would say, gentlemen, is this, that <coughs> with the best knowledge that is available and that is here tonight, we could stay here till tomorrow morning. One last question I would put to Father O'Connor. We have Turbot Well in Mill Street. We have St. John, or we have the well in John Tariff, and we have a well in Balavoni. What What is the future of this? Are we going to meet up with any of these people? Which the wells? Yes, the other committees set up for these wells? Well, there is a very active, in each of these areas, the reason is why they're there really and in existence, I suppose, is, is that there are active uh, committees. There's a very active um, committee here in charge of Turbot Well in Mill Street, which I can speak up for, and in Old Drum Tariff have another uh, active committee, and uh, they seem to be getting more and more active. Mm -hmm. And there's a turning point of prayer, which I'm very happy about, mm -hmm. to see and this is one of the greatest things I see, mm -hmm. that people are, there's more and more of a tradition, and particularly in this to whole Dohello area, mm -hmm. coming to Wells and mm -hmm. coming to pray. Um, it's prayer outside of the church. Mm -hmm. And anywhere you pray is good, because our Lord said, anywhere there's one, two, three gathered to my name, there I am in your midst. And he's with us very much in our midst when we pray at Holy Wells. Yeah, because I would like to say at this, <coughs> stage that we would be delighted at any time to meet up with these groups and uh, have a discussion such as we've had tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh. Oh, right, really, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At this stage, I would like to thank Canon Brown. Thank you. Jimmy, John, Father O'Connor, Sean, thank and Brendan. You. And from me, Tygo Flynn, we would like to say goodbye and God bless. Thank you very much. <laughs>